Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is a data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Functions are like first we have to understand the complete business. Okay, so for example, if I am taking that particular Panda Key Learning, so this particular Panda Key Learning from last year to uh, till this 2021, how much uh, amount of classes has been conducted, how much product has been stay sold, how many uh, hardware kits has been sold. So this and all, everything should be listed over there. Okay, because after one year only, I will be able to get the raw data of the entire company. So from that particular company only, uh, here I have to understand. So uh, therefore, this will be the business strategy during this pandemic. The same thing, if we go for without pandemic, this will be the strategy. Even uh, for that without pandemic and with pandemic also, we can compare it in with, within the same year. Like initial uh, from uh, March to September till August and September, it was some sort of pandemic with the lockdown. The same thing uh, once whenever uh, it has been, they have provided the relaxations. So therefore the company has started to work and everything. So that is one type of sale period till this particular March. So this was one of the uh, period between that particular uh, one year, 2020 to 2021. And in between this, how many sales or how many functions or what and all has been happened. That comes under the business understanding. And these are our materials that also should be understood by that particular person who is going to analyze or collect the data. Then data mining. So after understanding this was the business period. So for each and every day we have to start to collect. So if we collect from each and every day only, we will be able to predict the months. And if we are able to predict the months means from that we will be able to predict the year. So each and every data should be collected in a simple format. Even if you go for some sort of uh, sites like Kaggle or if you go for uh, GitHub or the, those kind of uh, particular sites which provide some most amount of data sets. So that particular data sets you can see over there. They will be providing a wonderful list of columns. So from that particular wonderful list of columns, we will be able to take one or two data and from there we will be able to apply the prediction by using any of the specific algorithm. Data cleaning. So here what and all the data, whichever we have been missing with some sort of values, that particular data should be filled up over there. For example, here if I am taking the automotive company, uh, let us go with uh, Maruti. So Maruti has different variations like Alto, Omni, S cross, CS, Wagana. So this kind of uh, different, different sections. Okay. So if they are taking uh, Alto, so this month uh, 10, then uh, November month 15, then December month uh, 20, and uh, they were just uh, not able to sell any of that particular cars uh, in the year of January. So that means that is a fulfill unfulfilled area over there. Okay, so that is nothing but it has an inconsistency over there. So that particular inconsistency, it can be completely set as the application regarding towards, we have to apply it as a null character or if at least one or two, it has been sale means they have to enter it over there. So that is something but without any value, we are not supposed to create any of the data. Because not a break, uh, like, okay. So, here, once whenever you go for the data cleaning, there shouldn't be any null values over there. So for everything, that particular point should be predicted. Even zero is also considered as null. But the thing is, there should be some sort of characters. Because with the help of that particular characters only, here we will be able to arrange it. Then, if we go for that particular data exploration, because that particular data should be analyzed. So in which way that particular analysis should be done. So the analysis is nothing but like whether this kind of data are correct or not. So we have to just uh, come just a random cross check. The analysis in the sense overall checking will be there. 
so in between also and uh, uh, even whenever we are just working with uh, a new thing so from the data whatever we have collected is it on the true basis actually uh, there are also many of the sites which provide only the data set like uh, kaggle github and uh, uci repository so these are the some of the da famous data set uh, collection area so this particular data sets all most most of them are saying those are real data sets only including the road accidents or any of the cancer affected patients so like that uh, etc and these data should be explored and visualized properly okay so this particular visualization can also be said as initial visualization okay in visualization itself there are two things one is after prediction and the other thing is before prediction so this can be completely said as before prediction technique then comes with uh, feature engineering so within that particular feature engineering we have to uh, just apply that raw data over that raw data regarding which application okay because with the help of a single data set we are able to predict more amount of things okay like if i go for healthcare means with the help of a bp and sugar a person's uh, stability can be mentioned so if he has any other issues with his blood means like the level of sodium or potassium low means then it can be another thought of disease so everything also can be done and uh, even uh, two to comparison also can be provided so whatever that understanding which we have taken the raw data which ever we have created it should be able to predict and it should be converted into the model of system and next comes with the predictive modeling so here it plays a major role like the algorithm so whatever the data we have collected and processed up with uh, some sort of uh, implementations can also be set as in that way so from that implementations we have to apply to the algorithm so we have to create the train sections so from the train what will be the predicted so here training and testing data will be almost same okay because with the train data when we combine with that uh, testing data therefore from the testing data here we will be able to predict the future so in this way only here we will be working it so from that particular predictive modeling only here we will be looking for the different different algorithms and those algorithms may be k means support vector machine decision tree classifiers so like that each and every kinds of applications then whatever we go for the data visualization the final visualization which we are plotting it in the graph so there we will be having a, a minimum three graphs okay at least uh, two graphs will be there either testing and prediction or either with training testing and prediction so this will be the maximum thing for visualization and what are all the packages required for visualization that is another thing so how to read the csv file for that also the separate library so for that we can uh, move on with the uh, pandas functions or we can move on with that particular kind of uh, cbond matplotlib so in that different different packages so from the different different packages only here we have to create the sections so does anybody have doubt regarding towards the data science how the data science will be started and how it will be ended so the same process only for all the data science will be going on watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel